Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're here to do some testing with Faraday cages and we have four different Faraday cages. And we're going to see how they perform around a wireless router. And we're going to take some radio frequency readings using the two meters. The top one's reading millivolts per meter and the bottom one is reading milliwatts per meter squared. And we're going to start off with a mylar film cage. It's also known as space blankets. Okay, so that's our mylar film. And we're going to connect it up to a ground and we're going to see what happens. So currently the cage is ungrounded. So I'm now going to ground it. So the cage is now grounded, and that's the reading that we're getting. So we're going to move on to the next cage. The next cage is aluminum foil. So this is standard kitchen foil. Our reading ungrounded, and I'm now going to connect a ground connection. So the cage is now grounded, and that's what we're getting with the cage grounded. So let's move on to our next cage. So our next cage is chicken wire. So this is pretty standard chicken wire. It's about an inch spacing on the, on the actual wire. And that's our volume. And I'm now going to put a grounding connection onto the cage. So the cage is now grounded. So that's our performance with a grounded cage. So our last Cage is going to be window mesh. So this is aluminum mesh screening used for fly screens on many windows. So that's our reading with aluminum mesh. Now I'm now going to ground it and we can see what we get. So the cage is now grounded, and that's our reading. So that's what we got for our four different Faraday cages. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and I wish you the very best of health.